Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing and review of the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle by Kyle Gray and artwork by Jennifer Hockyard. It's a 44 card deck with a guidebook. I have been anticipating this deck for a while because Kyle Gray, I'm a big fan, I have most of his decks, but this to me felt a little bit like a deviation from what he normally does with like the angels. You know, he's an angel worker and all that, which I love. But this just really felt pretty high vibrational to me and I, I got very excited when it arrived. I love the box. We have this beautiful gold foil on the name and the title and of course these little specks of gold that I love. So it's made by Hay House and it's in this tuck box that we all know and love, at least I do. <laughs> Pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful on the inside as well. And then you have the activate the ancient wisdom within. I love that. Now here's one thing that I love about the boxes that do this. So you have kind of like a little prayer, you know, as above, so below, so within, as without, connections to heaven and earth through the stargate of your heart. I call forth from within the light of source. Thank you for standing at the forefront of my heart and mind. Thank you for activating the ancient wisdom of my soul. I welcome in the support of heaven, earth, the stars, light beings, and beyond. And so it is. I like this because if I'm on the go, if I decide to take this deck somewhere else with me, or maybe I choose to use this prayer anyway, but I can kind of prop the, the, the box up. And I created myself a little altar, pretty much. For lack of a better term, I created myself a little altar with prayer energy kind of coming off the box. Of course, the when you get the deck in your hands, it's entirely up to you what you do with it. But personally, I really do like when boxes have a little something on the inside. Here we got the guidebook. It's actually pretty meaty for a Hay House guidebook. I like it a lot. Um, let's, so get, let's get inside. We have, of course, our table of contents. Introduction. I do like this because this deck is divided by activations and gateways. I love that very much. And then working with the cards. One thing that I found kind of interesting is that right here, the four pillars. Important. <laughs> he lets you know that it's an important thing for you to look at. And then you have interpretation of the cards. What I do appreciate, though, is that these are in alphabetical order, um, which I, I like very much. There's no numbers on the cards, but they are in alphabetical order. And that's everything you get. So, of course, like we saw the introduction, how to use your gateway of light oracle, activations, gateways. Um, you have your chakras, you have spiritual retreats, light beings, light codes. Like I said, it's pretty involved. I thought I've, in my opinion, of course, I think it's more involved than his previous decks. Maybe I, I do also love the Angels and Ancestors, also by Kyle Gray love that deck and I also think it's a level up from what he normally does and this one is also a level up to me as well so those two are my favorites from him but of course my point of view working with the cards bonding with your deck I love that oh activation prayer I love that too I haven't done that yet I should do it <laughs> how to conduct an oracle reading Shuffling the cards, raising the vibration, reading for yourself. I love that. Actually, this reminds me. I've already looked through the cards, right? Because I took away the plastic. I took away the, the paper that comes wrapped in it. This deck, for some reason, I'm going to use it for clients. Because I like doing that when I get a deck. Um, I test it out with clients. I work with clients. So I love using that as a deck. Because it, it helps me deepen my connection with the deck. However, I'm still going to use that with this deck, but I I have a feeling that this deck is going to end up in my personal altar and I'm going to use it for personal readings for myself. I do that with the Lightworkers Oracle by Alana Fairchild and I have about two tarot decks that I don't use for clients, they're just mine. Um, so this reading for yourself reminded me of that. This deck might turn into one of those. <laughs> and then reading for another person. I like that too because maybe you're new to Oracle and you're... Oh, I like that. It's got reverse cards. Interesting. I like that. Uh, okay. So we got some spreads going on. 
as well. We have the Stellar Gateway spread. Ooh, I like that. We also have the Akashic Records spread. This is super high vibe deck, honestly. And then we get into the interpretation of the cards. So pretty much you get uh, a black and white depiction of the card. You have the title, you have the keywords that come in the card. Then you have an explanation, pretty much like a, a little paragraph of an explanation. Then you have connect, how to connect the deck and how to connect the energy in the card. And then your message. So this one is actually pretty long. Then we got into the Kashyyyk Stargate, which is also like pretty long, but they're divided as you can see by title, keywords, explanation, you have a connection and then the meaning in the reading. And then that's pretty much it for all of them. And then towards the end, of course, we get our ads that we normally do and about the author, Kyle Gray. All right, so let's get to the cards. These are the backs, beautiful backs. As you can see, they're not exactly, I mean, it's just for the center part here. It's not exactly perfectly reversible, but I'm not gonna read reversals with this deck. Yeah, maybe, well, who knows, but I don't really see myself doing that, but of course it's entirely up to you and your preference. Uh, card stock is not bad. Card stock is a little bendy, but not too much. Not too much, it's actually a pretty good stock. It's regular your Hay House deck. If you've, if you've had other Hay House decks, you know what it's like. Okay. So I will show you guys all 44 cards. They are not in order. I've been using it for, I, I got it. So this deck came to me yesterday and I already used it. I've already used it for myself. I used it for a few clients. Uh, so it's not in order, but I'm gonna show you all of them. So if you don't wanna see all of them, you can skip ahead or you can skip this part altogether. Okay. So starting with the Star Gathering. I mean, the artwork is so beautiful. I love it. The Divine Matrix. Soul Star Activation. Inner Earth Base Chakra. Seraphim's Gateway. So obviously, you know, it's called the Gateway of Light. So it looks like gateways. They all look like portals in some way. Thoth light codes. It feels galactic as well. Um, beyond just gateway of light. I guess that's an obvious um, deck title. Lemurian seed codes. But it feels very galactic. Orion activation. But at the same time, if, if that makes sense, it feels very grounded as well. Like I can look at this and I can read from the book and, and while it's like the Emerald Tablet activation, a very high vibrational energy, I feel like I can ground, like I know kind of like what to do with that energy. Does that make sense? Like I feel like love this one it's so beautiful sacral chakra i feel like i can work with it just like oh pladian activation okay i connect with the pladians it's more like there's a coming together there's a harmony there's resolution um anyway that's my opinion it feels like it's very grounded in that the holy grail the gaia gateway This kind of gives me a little bit of a High Priestess vibes with the, with the black and white columns. <laughs> Halls of Learning, I love that. Almost like library, Akashic Records kind of energy. I, I said it already and I, I'm gonna say it again. I love, love, love the artwork. Stargate Heart, of course, is the Heart Chakra opening. I mean, and it is also called the, the gateway of light. So it just feels like there's a light coming out of these cards. The Hathor light codes. It feels like the light is turned on like from the back of the card. Does that make sense? <laughs> At least to me it does. It kind of looks like that. Heart of source, how beautiful is that? All encompassing love. 
Anunnaki light codes. It's a very positive deck, but it also feels to me like it's really good for personal readings, of course, but also uh, public readings if you're doing it for clients. But it feels to me like it's it can tell you what kind of phase of your life you're entering, you know, or what phase of your life you can work in or something like that. If that makes sense. Um, Order of Melchizedek. It's kind of like what's, what it feels to me with this deck. It's almost like I'm going to pull a card and I'm going to get spiritual homework, which is, which is what I want. I like that because it's not just me pulling a card, getting a message and going, oh, okay, thanks. Putting it back and then leaving, you know, <laughs> and then forgetting what the message was. It feels like... Um, I can dive deeper, I can connect with the card, I can connect with the message. I can do my meditation kind of based on the message of this card. I can do a ritual or journal prompt based on these messages. Of course you can do that with any card, but this one just feels like it's, I guess because it's called gateways and they're all gateways and and activations it just feels like it's new chapters new layers that we can go deeper in as we go through the deck that's what it feels to me anyway of course decks call and feel differently for different people here we have our title title card i love this akashic stargate it's so beautiful then it says Crossroads and no wrong path. I love that. Love Crystal Scrolls. So I was happy to see this one in it. Ancestral Realm. I am somebody who really works with, closely with my ancestors. So this is really beautiful. The Central Sun. The Angels. Stellar Gateway Activation. This reminds me of that TV show, Stargate. Yeah, that sci-fi show, Stargate. I love that. <laughs> the Higher Heart, also another chakra that we have. And final card is I Am Presence. Light Body Activation, Accessing the Divine Within. So I am already in love with this deck. It's very high vibrational, very powerful. To me, it's a level up from what Kyle Gray normally does with these angels. It does feel like we as a collective and we as fans of Kyle Gray, if you are or not, but us that are like follow him maybe a little bit, it's almost like we are leveling up with him as well. So I really appreciate that. All right, guys, that's the review and the walkthrough of the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle by Kyle Gray and artwork by Jennifer Hockyard. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.